Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is your Barack Triple Seven. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set DNS addresses on your mobile device. Now, this is done through an application which is called Rethink DNS, and I'll leave a link in the description where you can get this application. Now, this is quite useful, and this uses the VPN service in order to connect to the DNS servers. So let me click on this and show you what it's all about. So once you've launched it, it is a simple user interface. There is not much to this. You have two options here. You have the DNS and we have firewall. So you could basically set or configure each of these separately or configure them to work side and side. Now this is a part of the Mozilla Builders program. Now Mozilla is basically quite strict when it comes to online protection. So that is basically a good thing to have. So when you launch this application, what you'd want to do is to click on settings. Settings is found at the bottom of the screen right down here. So you need to click on settings. And as you can see, we have quite a lot of options here in the settings. We could update the DNS, as you can see right there. We could set the VPN proxy and all of that. However, we will just be setting the DNS in today's video. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So first things first, where you have configure, that is what we need to click on. So we would need to click on this button that says configure. And also you need to enable block listing. So you need to enable on device block lists. So let's click on configure and it will basically load a host or a website which we could select various things from. So if we wanted to use parental controls, we could select this to block specific websites. We could block adult piracy, gambling, dating, and basically select all of these and it will block specific websites by default whenever you're using your mobile data connection or whenever you're connected to this application. So we could set everything, basically allow or block all of these. And let's click on done. And as you can see, 99 block lists are in use. So basically that is blocking quite a lot of things for us. So let's go back home and let's click on start. Now for the start, we could set this to, to work on DNS only. So basically it will only use the DNS filter and blocks particular website. We could set it to firewall and monitor network activity. So basically this will keep track of everything that we do, or we could do both. We could enable DNS and firewall. Now this is basically the default so let's click on this one let's scroll down and let's click on start now it starts pretty fast and as you can see it is basically keeping a track of all the background links or the links that are running in the background and as you can see these are from various locations united states jamaica canada and all of that redirecting links and so on so we have more configurations here. We could use various protocols, DNS over HTTPS, which is one of the safest ones to use. Um, basically, we could select various DNS servers or options here. We have Cloudflare, Cloudflare Family, Cloudflare Security, um, DNS Rethink Plus, and we could add our own custom DNS to this. However, we will just keep it at the re Rethink DNS as the default. And let's go back. Let's go back and basically once this has been connected, it will connect to a VPN service. As you can see, we have it right at the top of the screen and we could also add it to the navigation or the notification bar. So let's click on edit and we could add rethink DNS here. Let's go to the second tab. We could add it, simply add it to our navigation bar. And as you can see, it is located right there. We could simply click on that and we're basically good to go. So this will block ads, it will block certain websites and just protect your device overall. So yeah, that is basically how you'd go about setting up this DNS. If if this worked for you, please let me know in the comments. Or if you give if you gave this a try, please let me know. Hey guys, today if it worked for you because it's currently working for me it will block specific websites so this is good if you're setting up parental controls on your android devices and you wanted a simple way to do it well this application is quite easy to use and simple to set up with this tutorial 
you'd be able to set up these custom DNS on your Android device in no time. So thank you guys for watching. Hacker Triple O Seven Out.